I think that, you know, one of the things I've been working with is a company that does patient registries and we gather patient data from patients directly. Right. I would like to cross patient data over research data and actually right. look at how can I connect up patients that have very weird diseases with researchers that are looking for those patients, but haven't right. found them yet. Right. Yeah. Like almost more of a matchmaking of, right, exactly. Because exactly. this allows those specialty drugs to actually take foothold because in the past, if they couldn't find enough patients for this, didn't, they're like, ah, it's not, it's not worth us investing in it. Right. That's right. We, if we can start to do that, guess what? You're going to, you're going to have better outcomes because they're going to say, Hey, if I, if I know the patient base is there, right. And I can connect with them, then I'm happy to manufacture that drug. Yeah. And I found a couple of companies that are actually pretty good at looking at patient cohort data and identifying maybe a, a, a subset of patients that affect are affected a little bit differently or stand out for reasons. I think those yeah. are the kind of companies that all of a sudden you say, well, this drug may not be good for the, the, the large set, but it does a really good job on these. Right. Now we're getting into more of the personalized medicine and we start to talk more about focusing in on some of those patient populations, which to that population means a lot. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. The last question I have for you is, is because you're, you're, you're on these committees and you're kind of, um, you know, seeing things firsthand and you went through, right, the mobile adoption, cloud adoption, 